I hate to just keep sounding redundant, but it's just when I'm playing this game, like I said, it feels like I'm playing against niggas who literally get to play with headgear and I'm sparring with nothing on. It's just like, I would never lose to no random ass nigga in Tekken. Eight just allows that shit to happen. This game is just like, it's a complete clusterfuck of fakeness. Like this doesn't prove who is the better player with Tekken 7. I mean with Tekken 8. Tekken 8 does not prove who's the better player because you got all these tools to go plus. Then I pop this shit, then I'm plus after that. Then I gotta deal with more pressure. Not even really pressure, just niggas randoming you out. It's not even the fact that these people are good. It's just this heat shit ruins the whole dynamic of the game. Heat smash, heat this, power crush ruins the entire game. As soon as somebody gets the jump on you, as soon as the round starts, you're already at a deficit. Heat is definitely not needed. Like you don't need heat in this game. Like it wasn't needed to make this game good. Like they could literally take this fucking mechanic out and it would be a solid attacking game. Because how is a scrub gonna come back? How is a scrub gonna get pressure if they don't know frames? Where's the bailout for scrubs? You could just, there's, there's chip damage in attacking game. There's heat activation as plus. There's heat burst or whatever the fuck this is. is well, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Heat combustion, whatever the fuck that corny ass shit is called. So you mash your R1 button, boom. That's, now you gotta eat that. Now you gotta eat more damage. Now you gotta eat, like this game is just a complete joke. And the, the patch isn't fixing shit. How's it gonna fix anything if somebody could just pop one button, pop one button a game for damage? Get, get plus frame pressure right after it. This shit is way worse than V-Trigger. Way worse. You gotta blame Capcom because after Capcom came out with V-Trigger, that literally destroyed the whole dynamic of fighting games. After that, every fucking fighting game started coming back with some corny ass fucking mechanic or remedial tool to help a dumb fuck who is never good in another game, who's not even good at the current game, but can abuse the scrub mechanic to come back. All you gotta do to fix this game, right? Make it to where heat is, basically you gotta be damn near death to get heat activated. Activation. You gotta be heat, you gotta be damn near death to get heat in general just to pop it. Make sidestep in like other attacking games. I can't even say remove chip damage because they're not gonna do that. Make heat, matter of fact, make heat available one time out of the three rounds. You got three rounds to scrub me out by pressing one button. Exactly. Thank you, bro. Kevin Mack, thank you. It should be a meter that builds up. Why is heat accessible at the beginning of the fucking round? So remember the, the rage drive in Tekken 7, the blue shit that had that rage art. They both become available when a player is low health. Thank fucking you. You only got that shit when you were on the verge of death in that game. Why do you have a fucking comeback mechanic at the start of the fucking round? Like, do you want to cater to the fucking scrub audience that much that's not going to play your game anyway? Once more characters drop in Street Fighter? As this game ages, right, the only people that, that are going to be playing Tekken are the people that grew up playing attacking casual players will will throw this game in the toilet yes it would only be available if it was low if it yes that would be more fair if it was available at low health i'm getting random doubt multiple rounds by idiots who are popping a one button mechanic and most of these attack come from a mile away i can't sidestep them because i'm being tracked